Mike O'Mara, Radio Entertainment. Ladies and gentlemen, today's Mike O'Mara show is brought to you by our Amazon page. Please remember to shop Amazon, and when you do, go to MikeO'MaraShow.com slash Amazon, or click the Amazon link on our website. It's the best way to shop, and the best way to support this program. Now, on with the show. Available on demand every day in iTunes, and the Google Play Store, and around the world on MikeO'MaraShow.com. What more can we do for you? It's the Mike O'Mara Show. Need to get something off my chest uh, right at the front of the show simply because uh, this is important. And I've been thinking about this probably for an incredibly long period of time. And, you know, I know we've got a lot of world affairs going on, lots of stuff for people to talk about. But the fact is that I really just want to get this out of my system because I think it's important. And I think it's important and it's maybe a public service that I offer the Mike O'Mara Show listeners because... um, this is something that I think should have been addressed a long time ago, and it's something that's a scourge on our nation. Well, this is a good forum for it, Mike. You're reaching a lot of people, a lot of concerned people, and you're going to touch the hearts of lots of people. And if it helps you, it's going to help them. There are people in America that prefer ice cream over cake. This is true. You have cake people, you have ice cream people. I think that's really when you break down the standard, let's say, social gathering type of dessert. You, I don't, I don't think you count pie. I don't know. I, I think, think cake really, versus pie is another. It's another well, cake arena. Is pie, so, but, but you know, you say, what do you want? You want cake or ice cream? You know, and people say, oh, I'll have cake. I'll have ice cream. That's that's what you say. The true benchmark is if you have a podcast named after one of those, and the only one I know of is cake and cookies. That's yeah. true. Now, um, a short time back, Carl and I went to the uh, Farmers Fishers Bake. Am I getting the name right of the restaurant? Farmers, Farmers Fishers, Fishers Bakers. Expensive Restauranters. Expensive Restaurant. <laughs> Very Farmers expensive. Fishers <laughs> can't find your car. A uh, restaurant. Yes. Now come. Now you see, you're poo pooing a, a now, place that I really think deserves the to car charge situation what they charge. is on you. Yeah, it's totally because on you. you're responsible you went to the wrong door. No. for knowing but where you come out. Why would it of. also outwit Jimmy? A very bright man. Uh, Jimmy yeah. has too there much alcohol in his system to figure right. out where anyone's car yeah, is. I'm surprised he didn't walk into the river. He wouldn't uh, be driving so. if he'd had something to drink. <laughs> and you know what? Hey, Pony, we should have invited you to come along on that. But you lived yeah. in Fairfax and you wouldn't have wanted to leave. He didn't home. want to come out. Yeah, I know. Mm-hmm. Uh, it would have been a free brunch. It's time so, for you to yeah. come out. I want uh, to. He was just rolling out of bed with a Hanson's. That's right. <laughs> yeah. So he's saying, hey, lady, can you find the sugar glider? I will talk about the gathering we had, the social gathering we had at uh, O'Mara Residence South. Uh, I'll do that maybe in the body of the show if I find time with other cousins. But one of the things purchased was something that I am totally against, and I haven't really railed uh, against it. But I think it's a scourge in uh, dessert circles, and I don't think it deserves to be even mentioned. And the thing about it, there have been television shows about it. There have been many television shows about it. And I'm here to tell you, I think... On the scale of desserts, the greatest crap dessert ever invented in the history of mankind is the cupcake. I think the cupcake is crap. I think the cupcake is a ripoff. I think the cupcake is cheating. I think the cupcake was designed by lazy people who didn't want to take the time to bake a cake and like stack it and put icing in between. I think they wanted to put it in a little muffin tin and just say, here, look at this. The cu- the, there's nothing about the cupcake that is pleasurable or enjoyable. And if you think there is, you're being snowed. You're being conned. The cupcake is crap. I will say my piece and then I will open up the floor for discussion. But let me just say this. What is a cupcake? It is a it is about a two inch cake that's that comes out of a like a muffin tin. Sure. And then then they ejaculate <laughs> like seven <laughs> gallons of frosting and they shit it on on oh, top. Oh no no no. And Ooh. they pile on three inches of frosting. So in order for you to successfully eat the modern cupcake requires you to just lick like some sort of dog, pure buttercream frosting before you can even attempt to get a bite of cake. And I'm here to tell you, it's not pleasurable, it's not satisfactory, and I have never in my life ever, ever enjoyed a cupcake on any level. It can't be enjoyed. A piece of cake? 
Now, if you cut a nice piece of cake and the frosting and the cake is nicely balanced and you put that into your mouth, you're having a pleasurable experience. A layer cake, but particularly. The so, but what do we have? We have Georgetown Cupcake. We have Cupcake Wars. Right oh, welcome to the Cupcakery. Foot. Welcome to Cupcake. <laughs> welcome to um, Annie Fats Cupcake Hi, Shop. Okay, question. You know, before we address these point by point, there's one yeah, that I have to Do we want to address our connectivity? Is that what we want to address? Or no, what? you uh, sound great. You're doing oh, great. Oh, good. I'm glad yes. I do. Um, what about for, say, a birthday <laughs> in an elementary school? You can't really bring a cake in for a birthday. Yeah, you can't, can you? know why? Because that would require effort, Mommy. That would require effort. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's what it is, Daddy and Mommy. That would require, yeah, that's it. That, well, you just <laughs> nailed it. You nailed what it's all about. It's not for providing the little kitties. Oh, God forbid I had to bring a cake into the school and cut it with a knife. Oh, my elbow hurts. Oh, my God. No, no. Let's bring a... Tupperware covered crap pan with a bunch of these crap cupcakes. Oh, I put sprinkles on them and then give the little junior. They they each get their own one. That's like everybody getting a goddamn trophy. Well, I don't think it's just like that. Because the cupcakes just... suck, Rob. They suck. I'm sorry. I, I That's don't the way know, I feel man. About it. I don't I agree. know. I mean, they're overrated and they're trendy. But I think properly no, done. trendy. I mean, they've been around for a million years. No, you but, know? I, but you got to know they're red hot you, you, right you've now. Got, you've got D- the DC Cupcakes on TLC, which is a television show, which is based on Georgetown Cupcakes. Yeah, it's which like is easy. Let's make cupcakes. You've got you, know what, you know what's difficult? Cupcakes. Real, real pastry chef you know, work. You know, that's difficult. Mike, making, a, making a Grand Marnier souffle, that's difficult. I, Not crapping a bunch of batter into a pan and then throwing buttercream frosting on it and go, here, here's my special peanut butter nougat. Cupcake like that I, I designed. Can you imagine bringing a Grand Marnier souffle into a second grade class? Oh, they'd love it. <laughs> <laughs> Tell them what it was. You, so, have you, know, to you, order it, the, you have to order it right before math, though. So it's yeah, ready after the, English. Get by the whole booze thing. Yeah, it's right. true. Just yeah, brief. Fun. I've asked people why they love cupcakes so right. much. Because when uh, relatives and now friends come to the neighborhood, they say, can we go to the, 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 the big line at Georgetown Cupcake? Yeah, when I turn right to come here, I turn yeah. left up uh, 34th Marketing, Street. Marketing, always a television, line, right? yes. the magic 33rd, box. Yeah. And, what if it was Georgetown cake? And you went in and got a nice slice of cake with the icing balanced, not just... There a, is and, and a cake se- store down the street that's similar right. to Georgetown Cup, separate entity, right? Mm-hmm. And the answer I always get is cupcakes are great for portion control. You can just get one and you're done. You don't portion have a full, control we don't is have a full, crap. We don't have yeah. a full you cake in front of us. three. If you'd like. If you like, you, you can get but three. Yeah, just you get one to But go. I'm talking about eating. If you get the modern <laughs> cupcake... Yeah. You can't take a bite of it. If you took a bite of a modern cupcake, if you like, I'm gonna eat. I'm gonna enjoy the cake and the icing in one bite. You'd have you'd have icing in your hairline. Yeah. Well, that yeah. depends on that depends on your, the cupcake you because there is dirty now, see, they're, But they're Listen, all like no, that. not all. They all have they're the no, they no, no, no. There is a place. There is a bakery. Oh God! All right, all in right, Leesburg. Ar- all right, Arbuckle. Go ahead. Does, Let me know where they are. You see, you see, he's, he's making a fat joke right there. That's Joseph. a fatty Arbuckle. Fatty Arbuckle. Roscoe. Fatty Arbuckle. I have no silent film star. Oh, oh, Roscoe well, Fatty yes. Arbuckle. Roscoe Rob, Fatty Coltrane. That's all I got. Like, Roscoe, <laughs> you win. You, you win. But if you go Rob to Rob is a fat beagle. <laughs> if you go to. You win by knowing his first name. Mike, he was he was slandered in a sexual. Uh, <laughs> not There was a lawsuit. There was a yeah. scandal. It turned out he was innocent and he never. Of being would, a pedophile. No, no, no. Of raping a girl, I believe, with some sort of. Object, oh. but he was found innocent. A cupcake. We're talking. We're talking with, about is cupcakes. This a family it, show. It <laughs> he was found right. innocent. Why would you find that right. fun fact something you'd want to share? No, with I'm, I, but you see, here's the deal. <laughs> he was he's talking innocent. about Roscoe Fatty Arbuckle. Roscoe Fatty Arbuckle. Google it. He was found innocent, but his career never recovered. But do you feel right. like you have to share that with someone that was wondering what happened to Roscoe Fatty Arbuckle it's right now? It's bedrock of his career. I mean, it's really, it's at the foundation of the story. <laughs> don't bury the lead, Oscar. You don't want to hear about him being in a silent show. Are right, you going to talk about cupcakes yes, without a lot please. of icing? Right. Where the hell do you find those? You see, growing up, and I was always oh, a fan. I'm in a grocery store trying to find a grocery. Now, growing up, doesn't, I'm talking about today's but modern this is, cupcake. I'm saying this because it's important to today's modern cupcake. Worked up about this, Rob. I can tell. <laughs> what yeah. roadside fruit slash cupcake stand did you run where you had <laughs> the best cupcakes in the world? When I was growing up, who didn't love the Hostess cupcake that had, you know, the... the Different product. Yes. Not, yeah. not, not but germane to this discussion. No, it is. Because no. if you go to Sweets Bakery in Leesburg, they've recreated that cupcake. With a higher quality of icing, a higher quality of that filling. That is a spectacular. Now, now, let me just say, 
I don't even consider that a real cupcake. That is a spectacular kid's snack. It's a pastry. That is, here. That, that is it the says host of, cupcake on I know, the package. I understand. I understand, but I am talking for this discussion. I'm talking about the modern cupcake. Well, this has, is a modern cupcake that no, includes a buttercream filling and okay, ganache. But it's an exception <laughs> to the rule. It's an exception to the rule. Then all I'm asking most is for this. I'm just most saying, Most cupcakes please. have two cups of icing That's true. on a thimble full of cake. It's a frosting so you, delivery you system. Have, you, you might as well walk into that bakery and say, excuse me, could you take this Dixie cup and poop out some icing into it and just give me a plastic spoon, please? He's named Barry. I just got diabetes. It's <laughs> delish. Yeah. But you know what? Some people have said the secret to the modern cupcake, and I hate to be put in the position of defending it, but it is a popular item. What some people do is break it in half, turn it around, and right. almost make like an icing sandwich. Okay, all right. You know what? Oh. Uh, first of all, I I've never time, done that myself. I don't have time to have you hear your story about <laughs> making love to a cupcake. I'm talking about the delivery process. <laughs> hey, Mike, of taking, I may have gotten on. aroused, but I never completed. So I'll give you the ones we when got. Do you Carly guys got lose for the kids your toes? last night. For, for the <laughs> what? I'm sorry. What? I'm sorry. What do you guys? When do you guys lose your toes? <laughs> Never. Uh, the, the, here's the thing. Carla gets cupcakes for the the kidlings that were coming over last night. Do you know what it's like when you go to the the local uh, public giant Safeway and you sit there and they give you a a yellow dry horrible cupcake yes. with with seven inches of frosting Crap on top. frosting because it's grocery that's, store frosting. That's, that's, that's food colored blue mm -hmm. and you know they dive into it and then I've got three kids running around like they've got heart conditions because their lips and, their, and half their faces are completely blue and there's icing on the floor and they're they're not. It's they're terrible. What you they need taste to terrible. do is they look terrible. They're functionless. Come on, distract the children by showing them a film of Roscoe, Fatty Arbuckle. Fatty Arbuckle. No, I now really kids. believe. He I was, really, really. <laughs> <laughs> he was he found was, innocent. He was cleared of all charges. The thing is, though, in order to uh, in order to enjoy a cupcake, you would really have to put it on a plate, as Rob says, cut it in half, mix it up, put it through. It's not designed to be eaten with your hand in one city. You can't do it, especially with these obnoxious cupcake wars cupcakes they have now, where they put all the crap well, on. I don't even like. If, even, I don't like war in any way. Even the high-end cupcakes, uh, to me, are not a great confection. You know yeah. what's great is a really wonderful cake that's constructed properly. Favorite flavors? Uh, what, of cake? Yeah, if you had to have one cake, what would it be? Honeybird cake. No, uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have an Arbuckle the, Chiffon. Would you like to know? And yes. this, I'll give him a plug. The restaurant we went to. Go to Farmers, Bakers, Fishers, uh, Sowers, uh, Apple Soup Beaches, Makers, Pumpkin uh, Pie. Post Office <laughs> Workers. Yes. Go to that restaurant in D.C. and ask for, I think it's called a Swim in Lake Smith or something like that. And they give you chocolate cake, <laughs> yellow cake with chocolate icing. And it's like a chocolate ganache on it, and then they put it in a bowl a with about a quarter inch of hot cocoa on the bottom. And it is the greatest Ooh. it is the greatest cake dessert I have ever had in my life in any restaurant, and I'm not exaggerating. That is the truth. That's how good that is, Rob. I after work, just go down there one day and just order a dessert. It's that good. It's that incredible. If I you you like know, I really cake, hate to play the type, but I will. Yes, it's delicious. It's really, really over the top delicious. We've and saved you a, a table, Mister Spiewak. Right, cupcake, <laughs> cupcakes. When we God. get back from the holidays, I'm gonna bring in some cupcakes. And Why you... do we have to wait that long? <laughs> <laughs> you know, my my dad's brother Bruce. He is uh, he is uh, he was a bartender for many years in Florida. He has lots of great stories that he tells. Bruce Valanche, right? That's my my father's yeah. brother, Bruce Valanche. Bruce Valanche. When he was in uh, high school, he made cupcakes for the first time, and he called their mom. And he said, Mom, I finished the cupcake. She said, that's good, Bruce. He says, all right, now how do I put the paper wrappers on them? <laughs> <laughs> so he didn't, uh, no, he put didn't them line in the, the uh, no, pie tin. He expected to put them on afterwards. And that's another thing. You know, you have, to, you, have to, you have to secure them. You know what I mean? You don't have to do that with a cake. You need a big knife and you cut it. So I just think it's crap. I think cupcakeries are crap. And, uh, cupcakeries? We had, we, we, had a, we had one in Manassas where, you know, they, had the, they bought like a real bakery. And then the, the two house frows came in that were going to have their <laughs> cupcake a thon. And you walked in and they had like one in the window. You know, it's like, I said, Do you have any cupcakes? That, no, we haven't. They, they'll be out later. Yeah, because you didn't prepare and you didn't get up early and you didn't do what real bakers do. You just decided you're going to throw your batter into an oven and just come out with like a peanut butter chocolate chip cupcake crap fest. I bet garbage. if you went in, you could say, Hey, do you have any? <laughs> did you drink any wine last night, you little freak? <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah, there you <laughs> the go. answer would be so, affirmative. Yeah, just right. quickly, I'm mommy, stay this up till two in the morning watching reruns of Dateline. All right, yes, <laughs> kill more girls. Right. Georgetown Cupcake opens at 10 a.m. Right, which is roughly 20 minutes from now. Right, mm-hmm. right. So, what if we sent Diego down there? To be there when they open. To be in the line that's there when it yes. opens. Yeah. And then Is there t- a line at ten o'clock in the morning? Always before. Always. Yeah. All right. Always. I don't want to say something I could say something so over the top uh, politically insensitive right now that uh, I would get in trouble. But I'm not gonna say that. I the type of human being that would be in line on a Tuesday at a well, it's the Tuesday before Thanksgiving. So Maybe I'm a little in town. wired up. Yeah. Everybody's yeah. in town as well. Everybody's wild. in town. So yeah. he can pick us up some and right? then bring them back to the show if you'd like. I I think you know what? No, because it's a waste of his effort because really the person here we need to win over wouldn't be eating the cupcake. Got it, got it. You see, I think that in the proper scope, a cupcake is fine. I'd watch you guys. Here's the thing. If he brings cupcakes back, you have to eat the cupcake with your hand without any manipulation. Eat it as it is made. That means take the cupcake in your hand and take a bite out of it. That's how you eat it. That's how you enjoy it. That's That's, You know what that is? That's the cupcake challenge. That's the cupcake. Send him down there. Go ahead. Right, go, go ahead. Get, go yeah, get, go some get some cupcakes. All right, here's my card, buddy. All right, very good. <laughs> he did not seem very excited about hey, the process. Hey, show Mike how happy you are right now. Go up to his camera. See, he's happy. He's walking like Charlie Brown. <laughs> you, he walked you, underneath you the walked camera. Under, oh, he walked Diego. underneath the camera. Well, Missed even it. when he's standing his tippy toes, he... <laughs> show <laughs> Mike the go. shirt you have on, though. Let me see Diego and stand yeah, in stand front of the camera. See where the lens is? so short. Thank you very much. There Michael Mara yes. for president. Hey, yeah. I love that little guy. I love Diego. I really do. Yes. One of my good guys. Wonderful guy. Diego, the, just surprise us hand? with a plethora. He wanted to get on the mic and talk about details. Like, we don't need to do that. Just get us what you can. He wanted to talk about much. a football game he went to yes. in 2014. There don't you come go. back in. Mm. Go All out. Right. All right. Now, Pony, you'll be moving the, to the cameras. I appreciate That's that. Right. We'll move uh, you that. stay there. I'm not going anywhere. Mike, I want to make there, one thing. Have, I yes. want to make one thing perfectly clear before we start the show. Yes. Roscoe Fatty Arbuckle oh was cleared of all God. charges. Thank you, Rob. Let's start the show now. Thank you for doing it. It's the Michael <laughs> Mara Show. You can listen to the Michael Mara Show at www.michaelmarashow.com. Stay tuned for an outstanding entertainment program. It's the <laughs> Michael Mara Show. Let's get down to business. From the entertainment capital of the world. What are you doing for Thanksgiving? We're, we're, we're doing the show, of course, tomorrow. I was going to ask you if you got your turkey yet. Sure. Do you, uh, truthfully, do you help Mrs. Carson prepare the turkey? Just like you help Mrs. Severinsen prepare the turkey. <laughs> uh, no, there, there is no Mrs. Severinsen. Oh, that's right. There. Right. That, right I, there used to be. I, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to do that. In fact, the fact that I never helped her trying. stuff her bird was one of our big problems. <laughs> I thought that was your problem. Well, now, you know I forgot all about that. We've been together so long that I forget sometimes where we are. <laughs> In fact, that was one of the things we really fought about. What? Did you I know? wanted an oyster stuffing in the turkey, and she wanted bread stuffing, and she got bread stuffing and a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> you mean you used to argue about what you're going to stuff the turkey with? Yes. And that was one of the problems. Well, she's still stuffing the turkey with, no, the with money. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's nice to know you have no bitterness. <laughs> you're not going to suffer. I it. suppose you'll be home with the family having <laughs> turkey. <laughs> Just a typical American family. Uh, look, if you want to, if you really feel badly now, I feel so terrible that you're going to be alone. Was you, was you like... I didn't say I was going to be alone. <laughs> you just said you ain't going to eat no turkey, right? That's right. Uh, you could come it... over there. Would you like to come to the house? And uh... This is the first time you've ever asked me. <laughs> <laughs> well, now you made me feel so guilty. I mean... I mean, you, when you ask an employee in front of 15 million people, do you want to come to the house for Thanksgiving dinner? What am I going to say? No. You know what I say? I say, yes, Mr. Carson, I love it. Can you come? No. Uh, It's the Mike O'Mara Show. 
Michael Mera, Rob Spiewak, Oscar Santana. And now, from his easy chair, here's Mike. Oh, back in the day. The Sunny best. days. I used to brag about divorce. Fantastic. Anyway, live from the Pfeiffer Studios in Washington, D.C., the Mike O'Mara Show is on the air. The Mike O'Mara Show, a national podcast and radio show with an incredibly loyal following around the world. TMOS listeners get it, and if you're here, so do you. You can reach out at, uh, to us anytime, 888-920-MORE. That's 888-920-6673. Tomorrow will be wide open Wednesday, yes. the Thanksgiving edition. So please, to uh, celebrate the holiday with us, uh, call us and call early, call off, and starting at 9 a.m. tomorrow. Uh, MikeOmeraShow.com, that's where you get us. We're on air, online, on now. This is the Mike O'Mara Show. Our show today brought to you by Movement, MVMT, Movement Watches. They can make all of your holiday gift-giving anxiety disappear. These watches make the perfect gift for any guy or girl. And best of all, they start at only $95. Look at that beauty right there. Gorgeous. $95. We love our movement watches. You'll love yours. Now, let's uh, finish your holiday shopping and get a movement watch for someone on your list. Movement lets you skip the lines and crowds at the mall. Instead, you give a gift they'll love at prices you'll love. Remember, movement watches start at just $95. At a department store, the same watch would set you back four or five hundred dollars. How so? Movement, they get rid of that middleman, that pesky, pesky middleman that you always hear about. They're fantastic watches. Mike, yes, Oscar. Our intern Vincent loved movement so much he bought himself a watch and he wears it proudly because it looks awesome. It does. They look great and you'll love it. So please get 15% off your today. Free shipping and free returns by going to MVMTWatches.com. That's MVMTWatches.com slash TMOS. This watch has a really clean design, and I've been getting compliments on it ever since I put it on. Now is the time to step up your watch game. Go to MovementWatches.com slash TMOS and join the movement. You've been hearing a lot about joining the movement. We're talking about movement watches, so yes. check it out. Please do. Uh, welcome to the Mike O'Mara Show. Uh, the holiday weekend uh, is continuing as we anticipate the Thanksgiving holiday weekend. And let me just say uh, to anyone planning to get out and travel right now, uh, you're dealing with excited idiots. Okay? Oh, yes. This is we <laughs> Is are the crazy children. in the air down there? Because there's crazy well, in this, the air up here. It's different where I live because I live in a resort town. I live in an area where people are vacationing. And I will give you a classic example. Uh, Yesterday, I had to get some uh, cables at the Apple store. Mm -hmm. I came to a four-way intersection in the mall, and a man was looking behind his right shoulder as he drove through the stop sign (laughs) just because he was curious about something and it was obvious to me it was a rental car he was down on his little holiday and people get excited we are you know we we are all slaying the dragon it's documented that people have a tougher road to hoe than they used to and when people get their time off they get excited and they drive like idiots there is no single more dangerous time to drive down here, in my opinion, than Thanksgiving and Christmas. The holidays. And yes. the holidays. It is so hard to do. And I. It, it's probably the same. It's going to get worse wherever you are because everybody's excited. Everybody's got family coming in, and it gets really, really insane. I had a great gathering with uh, my niece and her husband and uh, her in-laws last night, and the little kids came over, and it was fantastic. But I warned them. I said, be careful when you're driving out of here and when you're driving home because this is just a... A, a very scary zone. Well, right there now. is craziness because of urgency. There's lots to do from now on for the next month. People right. are happy because urgency. it's the holidays. Urgency and people for are excited. no real reason. Manufactured yeah. urgency cu- coupled with giddy happiness, that's yeah. what equals idiots. Right I mean, I, 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 I find the older I get, they, I, I wax nostalgic a little bit, and I long for a time when, you know, it just wasn't the consumer orgy culture mm-hmm. that we live in now where it gets so so crazy and people are out there and there's a competitiveness in the air that just makes people nuts the, the classic example would be uh box stores on black friday where you see them pressed up against the glass and people tearing what each about the people that out. have already set up tents yeah, Mike, you know, this you know, year's going to be the type. first year that the consumer, I just saw this report last night, will, will do all their Black Friday shopping. This is aside from Cyber Monday, 
online. Fifty percent of them will be doing it on first time online I, is going to I, online is going to exceed in store purchase. Yes. Yeah. You know, I truly wonder why. Let me tell you why. And, and, and look, I know Amazon is a huge partner of this show. Yes. And 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 I'll be honest with you, uh, Juggernaut. We, we have been partnered with Amazon, and their business model that matches with our business model has been very helpful for the show. But the fact is, you got three guys, uh, you know, that, that use it regularly. It is the great. It's like uh, it's the easiest way to do it. But I really do believe that anything this time of year that keeps you, you know, with a fire going and in your own home and just chilling out with the fam and walking around in your little holiday socks is fine with me because you get out there and it's just it's hyper competitive. Mm -hmm. People are rushing around for for no good reason. And I just think I want to warn everybody because I didn't always process this when I was probably a younger man and succumbing a little bit more to all of this. Now I'm much more aware of it. I'm much, and this is not. The but it's old also people. worse now. It's worse yeah. than it was 20 years ago. Right. And there are more people out there causing more trouble and getting more of it done. But you're right. right. You have to be aware of it. You can and find it online on Amazon. Put there a, is a Oscar reason. Oscar says it. Put a price on your time, man. You know? And no the, the, one cares about their time until they have none. Right. You know, I, I am blessed to be able to be going to the Great White North in December. And one of the reasons I am going up Known there as is, Maine. is to remove my family from any you know i'm going up there where it's going to be a ghost town i'm going up there where it's going to be the road less traveled we're not it's a so you're going up to deal. scare your family <laughs> to scare my family it's i'm going to be just like jack nicholson in the you know in all the, work the and dull play makes mike yeah. a dull boy uh, there's a, johnny i'll be sitting at my typewriter <laughs> yes, Oscar. mike there's an office poll that says Mike's, you know, plays by his, his own rules at any time in his life, whether it's a, you're a younger jock or a seasoned vet. Yes. And when he said, we're going to experience winter in Maine, yeah. that in, within the office here mm -hmm. and even in the cubes outside, uh -huh. everyone's like, is Mike coming up for the holidays? Is it now he's going past us to Maine? He will wave yeah. when he flies over. Yes. Yeah. That Go to Boston for a uh, lovely Boston Pops concert, and that will be my I'm last. So jealous. That'll be my last dealing with civilization. So we're we, out of there like S through a goose we, the following Sunday. We ran the there. numbers for the average snowfall in Maine around. <laughs> Around your have you done? I don't that? even. Have you I haven't even done this. <laughs> you're gonna be you're gonna be enlightening me right now based on you know flying into town. Do, do for we, where uh, you live, without divulging where you live. Yeah. Right. Right. Hundred inches plus. <laughs> That's what it is on average. Yeah. Uh, for the but, winter. For the winter. For this that season. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. For the season. So yes. I, and I think like it's we, much lower in the summer. That's the <laughs> that's the that's that's the average. The thing it's, is, I think that the the you would probably if you broke it out into month to month, you would find that the bulk of that will come after the new year. You will that that's probably when that. Did you run the heart attack? Is I, I don't know. <laughs> I, it doesn't. I got a guy with a truck and a plow. Yeah. The, oh, you do. You're yeah, good. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it, fine, the fine. the chart doesn't say when or want when it wants to come when it doesn't come. But right. I just know that. I remember when we were up there for a summer. I said, "What are the winters like?" And they, and everybody would look at you like you were yeah. talking about a serial killer. Yeah, but that's what we're doing. We have had the Florida situation down here. By the way, it's forty nine degrees this morning, uh, right uh, down here. I don't know what it is where you guys are. Cry but for me, Argentina. I think you guys should probably <laughs> look was, forward it to it. Was a twenty pretty... degrees this morning? It was it twenty? Yes, degrees up in your morning? house. It was in my personal house. It was thirty degrees in Leesburg this yes. morning. Really? Yeah. Okay, well, you know, but I mean, down here it's unusual when we get into yeah. the 40s. Um, but that's what I'm doing. I want to yeah. experience a little now, uh, New England winter. Question, is this <laughs> Why not? trying to... Probably get it in spades is what you say. <laughs> Very little. We'll be probably I'll never do it again. This is an experiment. <laughs> this is an experiment. I'm going up there to, to see what it's I all was about, trying to you know? construct the timeline in my head. Has little Michael seen snow before? Nope. This will be the first time he's seen snow. That's right. He might have seen it when he was an infant, but but this will yeah, be the first he, time he's aware of it. This will be the first time he's uh, he's aware. Are of you going to be yeah. able to like go out on your property and cut a tree down? Um, I'm I'm I if I get down the stairs uh, to get into the kitchen, I'm uh, going to be all right. Are you going to send something. Carl out to cut a tree down? I don't know property? what we're going to do. I okay. really don't know what we're going to do. The, I'm the, just the game plan originally was to go out there. and I get just a pulled tree, up. But. I was able to pull up uh, exact numbers for Bar Harbor for the month that's of for the, that's close for the enough. month that's of the December uh, December yeah. right? Sure. Uh, it says average snowfall in Bar Harbor in the months of December is 65 inches. In one no. month. 
No, no. That's, that's an not average possible. of two inches a day. <laughs> no, that's not because possible. Because if they get one blizzard, that's, that's not, 30, no, and then another. No way. Yep. There's no way that's true. It's 65 inches. <laughs> that's that's going to be that's, fun. <laughs> that's got to be a year. And it year. says the average U.S. city in the month of December that uh, is above the northeast yeah. gets 25 inches okay. on yeah, average. That, right? I just don't see it. You're down near the coast. That can't be right. That that just can't be right. You know, the right. water, Mike, the water makes a big difference. It's probably like lake no, effects. So. Because just, no, I, oh, my God, yes, because you're coming right off the water. Mm-hmm. Yes. No, no, you're coming off the sense. ocean, the salt water. It's not like lake effects. No, it doesn't work that way. Uh, I think, it, I mean, it's on the Internet. It's got to be it true. It says Maine gets an Average of fifty inches per rain. You got to remember right? Maine. When you talk about Maine, you talk about inland up near Canada, Maine, which gets a lot more snow than the coast. But the that's coast Bar Harbor. Get as much. Yeah, that's why I pulled Bar 65 Harbor. Sixty-five inches in the month of December. Yes. Why don't you call someone that lives up there and ask? Them because all the chat. phone lines are down. <laughs> <They're telling laughs> call. Maine get, Carla. Maine gets sixty-five inches of snow on, in the average. Month of on, on average. On average. On average. It on could, average. Could be a low year. Carla could be a low year. You know, Carla's reaction just. Yeah. <laughs> Daddy will go out and You're going to be lucky go. if you come back with both dogs. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there's your around, answer. Uh, well, let's, uh, let's take we, a break. We I'll we tell you take a break. Yeah. The very latest dog uh, news that we have. Uh, poop is falling out of Beluga. We'll tell you all about that. Uh, I mean, like, just falling out of Beluga. Oh, dear. Um, you know, he's walking around, like, in circles all day. I, oh. Uh, I, That's I, learned I, behavior. All right. <laughs> we'll take a break. <laughs> Come back with more on the Michael Mara Show. Cake and cookies. Rob and Katie. Like, if you were to uh, grow bitter and close out your Facebook account and just say, delete this account, I'm done. I'm not doing Facebook anymore. Mm-hmm. So you have to go through and find all the people that are just in silhouette. I freed up 180 slots last night. Holy cow. Mm-hmm. And added 100 people this morning. Rob, that's a lot of scrolling i feel well yeah but i mean i was watching tv at the same time <laughs> okay it did you do this on your phone no at my desktop okay i was gonna say no wonder you have to wear the glasses <laughs> no, i think we all know why i'm losing my vision <laughs> <laughs> hold up your hands let me see your palms <laughs> clean as a whistle it's the rob and katie show it's rob and katie talking about masturbation brand new one up today that's did you really drop uh, how many people what? I dropped... No, I didn't drop anybody. I went through and found the people that were no longer on Facebook and deleted them. 180 people were just gone, but they were still taking up real estate. We'll have to talk about that. I'd like to know how you do that. It's pretty cause... cool. It freed up a I, lot I of I probably spots. should get on that myself. Welcome back to the Mike O'Mara Show, brought to you by ZipRecruiter. Uh, we tell you about ZipRecruiter. This is the time of year where there's a lot of transition out there in the job world. Uh, a lot of people get some spaces on their company rosters, and they need to find their job, and they need to post a job. And if you want to do it on all the top job sites, you can with ZipRecruiter.com. Post your job to 100-plus job sites, even social media. Facebook, Twitter, all with a single click, and you find your candidates in any city around the country for any job, any industry, nationwide. Once you post on these job sites, it's very, very easy. All you have to do is sit back and watch the qualified candidates roll into your easy-to-use interface on ZipRecruiter. It's that easy. You won't get the emails. You're not going to get the phone calls from people. They take that out of the equation because it's all done online. ZipRecruiter lets you quickly screen candidates. You can rate them, and then you can hire the right person fast. We have listeners that have experienced ZipRecruiter, and they have raved about the quality of people they get when they do it this way. There's a modern world, folks. Use the modern technology that gets you the right person. Get right now. Our listeners post jobs on ZipRecruiter for free. Just go to ZipRecruiter.com slash TMOS. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash TMOS. Try it absolutely free. ZipRecruiter.com slash TMOS. Do it today. So uh, we had a wonderful evening with my uh, sister's kid, Jessica, my niece, and uh, her beautiful children, Max and Amelia. How old are they? uh, uh, Max is seven. Amelia is four. Great and, ages. Uh, oh, that must have been good. We were sitting there with uh, with her husband, Bill's parents, out there on the uh, back patio, and the din from the kids, the screaming level was just, they were having a blast, and it, it was instantaneous. And they haven't seen each other in a good long time. And I just love that. I love it when Michael uh, you know, has friends down here, but I love it when it's family that comes over mm-hmm. and he clicks with them. Because the fact is, at my advanced age, you know, 
my contemporaries, as far as kids are concerned, are my niece. Yeah, I, yes. I, mean, I look at my niece and I'm like, you should be, you know, I remember when you were playing and I was an adult sitting out there. I just have been an adult longer now. And my kid, three years old, is uh, playing with my niece's children. That's, that's the sweet, way, though. It's that's good, the though. way my modern family rolls right now. I've got a similar situation that my Aunt Lina, her youngest daughter, is a contemporary of Julia's because they had kids and, you know, they had a lot of kids. They had five kids. Whoa. Oh, nothing could be finer than Aunt Lina. <laughs> She's such a good gal. She loves me, too. Oh, cupcakes on the porch with my Aunt Lina. <laughs> she is a finer. No one can do. Oh, lovely times we had with Aunt Lina. When she'd get mad, she'd get so mad at HBS. Oh, nothing could be finer than Aunt Lina. Anyway, I'm sorry. Aunt Lina beans. <laughs> no, the line poem of, we always line had. Of beans. <laughs> line of beans. That's what they call Aunt Lina when she farts. Hey, that was a line of bean. The, uh, the poem we had for her when she was little was, Hail to Lina, she goes to China on an ocean liner. Hail to Lina. <laughs> Lina. Lina. Are you we shocked a, uh, that it was hail? You know, my father's. Uh, my father was raised by. <laughs> yeah. I'm shocked aunts. that didn't make any sense. <laughs> they had a. Uh, they had, oh yeah. They had a housekeeper called Vina. Her name oh, was yeah. Vina. Yeah. Yeah. Vina lost her brakes so around uh, Hancock, Maine, one time, and almost went down into the uh, into the river. Oh no! Down yeah, by the river. The, the Union River. She had actually lost the brakes coming downhill and hit a pole. Otherwise, she would have gone right into the river. I heard the that river. she went into a snowbank. Vina. 65 inches. It's 72 <laughs> inches. Mike, I, look, I, found, is not the I found snowfall. another website. You're to corroborate? Line. No. Instead of 72, it says 65. Okay. Mm. So, so that's, that's know, much yeah, less. That's a much less. Yeah. What average in the month month of December? In the month of December. From the 1st to the 31st. Now, I hope I mind make it you, up there. right now we have La Nina coming across. Uh, the little girl. The little girl. <laughs> the little <the>, girl. <laughs> We that we have because El Nino, the little boy, yes. the little boy, <laughs> right? What's the little girl gonna do? Well, the little girl is actually pushing more moisture to the northeast, which is gonna create more snow for you because the weather will be colder in the northeast. That bitch. Really? Yes. I rented a Ford Fusion. That might not. Oh, that'll cut. handle well in the snow. That that might not cut. I'm not gonna pay for an SUV rental. Does the Fusion at least that. have front wheel drive? I don't know. Ford Fusion. I think so. For that Ford Fusion, if it was uh, a four-wheel drive, all-wheel drive upgrade, it should be there. Yeah. Is it rear-wheel drive or front All I know is drive? the rental cars are the biggest ripoff known to mankind. It's fine if you're going to a business like, trip for two days, but if you're going to use a car for two weeks, like is, three weeks, I can't. It's This insane. is a cost of having two homes, man. <laughs> you just got these. are These okay. are the small, okay. are the small all right. sacrifices okay. you have Thank to you make. you very much. That's Thank right. you. Mm. Thanks a lot. Appreciate it. Thanks a lot. Okay. Let me just. Uh, all Truly right. the finer things, jokes. Mike. I understand. The finer yeah, things. That's right. Okay. Thank you. You made the point. You can you drive. Why don't you just drive up there? Because I've already got my my flight. All right, sorry. All hey, right, nice can you. you rent a car in Boston and return it closer to your home, and then just be homebound? Yeah, and not go anywhere. That's yeah. a great idea. Yeah, we won't get groceries or anything. That's a fine idea. It's it's old timey up there. Don't they deliver? Yeah, old timey. No. That's right. Yeah, they come in through the snowshoes. Mister Drucker comes through the the blizzard. Didn't sake. the Russian spies land there and walk up on snowshoes? Oh, that's cheap. Right. it would be. It would be cheaper for me to ship a car up there if I was going to leave it up there. If I was going to yes, leave it up there. that would make sense. That would make it, sense. That, that, and, and pick it or up in Or what about your friend Jimmy Cerrito, who's got time and he yes. loves delivering vehicles? Let me do it in the slow motion for you, Oscar. Here we go. No. <laughs> no. He, he could Jimmy came the down with the it's, uh, Florida Jimmy's fine. Main Is Jimmy's there a CarMax up there? Because they have a three-day return policy. Yeah, there's a CarMax Just up there. Yeah, get a car yeah, and they, return it every a lot, three Rob, days. They've got a lot where they've got 50,000 cars when you get a state that doesn't even have a Costco in it. What yeah, about, they got plenty. Of, hey, yeah, which one? Which town is the CarMax We're brainstorming. In? There are no bad ideas. Settle there's down. nothing up there. What about there's Marcus nothing. They don't even have a movie theater up Marcus there. Marcus Serta may have a vehicle that he doesn't use have on you ever had a basis. Have you ever had a beater that you'd loan to a friend? Uh, you know what? I don't want to prevail on people. Like Steve Marmelstein could drive you around. I just uh, I'm wondering <laughs> about what I am giving a thought to spending the uh, maybe three hundred dollars more to get uh, an SUV for the the time. I'm well, an ex- oh, like $100 a hundred dollars a week more. That's a bargain. Well, what so, you what you rented is a mini SUV. No, I rented a Ford Fusion. Fusion. 
Yeah, right. It's one of those. Ford Fusion is a crossover. Yeah. I thought. yeah, it's a crossover, but it should have. All, I thought all it was drive. a motorcycle. <laughs> I thought a Ford Fusion is a sedan. I'm gonna bring up a picture of it. Hold on a know. second, God. I, I swear to you, Pony, you don't know what it is. I know what it is. It's I have not a crossover. A, a, That's a, like an SUV is a crossover. I have a Ford Fusion friend that drives one. He loves it. <laughs> I have a Ford Fusion. But it's a Fusion sedan, friend. right? It's not a. It's not an SUV, for God's sake. Oh, he's right. And by the way, I'm picking it up outside of the airport. Shocker. Because at the it, airport, it looks like a at cop the airport, car. What? Your Ford Fusion yeah, looks yeah, like a cop car. Yeah, I bought it because it looked like, because I'm an yeah. idiot. I bought it like, because no, you're, squir- like you're a squirrel. You talked about no, this. No, I'm not doing it because Yeah, of that. you should I get an S- Mike, get an SUV, because if it snows, you're going to be bowing sideways. Yeah. All right. God. Let's bring the money, man. Why do they charge so much more for the SUVs? It's a business. That's, what, that's yeah, what yeah, it's you a need business, it. man. Mm-hmm. Like, right. if Diego comes back with some extra large cupcakes, I expect to pay more for them. That's right. Well, I, the finer I, things. <laughs> but I don't think I just can't believe that it would be sixty five inches on average. Do you up there ever because it's use the your points on your credit cards to do any of this? Yeah. Okay, because yeah. you could use that to offset the costs. No, I don't. I, as a matter of fact, yes, I, I print out $100 bills, and then I just light them, Oscar, because I don't no. use my points. No. <laughs> I don't use any of my points. No, I, don't I, I don't need to because I never think about no. that. And then he looks at the camera like the Monopoly guy with his pockets <laughs> inside out shrugging. I don't know why I don't have any money. I just I know. <laughs> Who needs those points? I just Give them ran to someone into else. This. Give them to the poor people. I ran into this for the flights um, to Orlando for Christmas because yeah. we're going back down there. And I called and I said, I haven't used my points in two years. Do I have enough to fly down Let for the Let me tell holidays? you what the points. The other points I have on my credit yes. card, you know I can get an iPhone case. Hey. Uh-huh. That's what I can get. The finer yeah. things. Hey, what is that soda I'm looking at down there next to the Coke? This? What is that? I uh, know. What is that? Uh, this what is, is that, packed Tony? energy water. It's an energy <laughs> water. This is Adrian's weird stuff. God. Yeah, Adrian comes in with a lot of B-plus styled products. Packed yeah. energy like, water. You know what he was? He's drinking packed energy water and an off-brand honey bun today. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> and, Seriously, that, and that's Tony. a beverage that sounds like it ought to be in a porn movie. You and know? Tony Welcome is- to pack. Hey, how about this airtight coffee drink? <laughs> yeah. And Pony, <laughs> who subsists on off-brand tea and trail mix, he even right. looks at Adrian and says, what the hell is that? <laughs> I've never seen Packed. that. Right. Hey, it's built by Ocean Spray. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, maybe they should put two letters in front of it. Impact. <laughs> this is what your stools will be after you drink it. Mike, what do right, people do goes. in Fort Myers during this time of year? Uh, they drive like a-holes. No, outside and, of that, uh, what do they go visit is my question. Yeah, what uh, are the they tourist go down destinations? To, would you like to know what the, uh, the, the classic tourist destination will be? It will probably be the Thomas, Thomas Edison Henry Ford houses that they light up for Christmas, and it's a big show of lights uh, during the holiday season. So lights are a big deal. People, they have little boat parades at some of the marinas down here. If you go to Cape Coral, you can come down here and uh, read the local police blotter and see how many break-ins happened the night before. That's <laughs> Do they break fun. into the houses? while the people like are looking know, at the, uh, by at the, the way, lights? When you see a list of great Florida cities to uh, live in, yeah. uh, Cape Coral always seems to make it onto the list. Would you like to know the local news story that I heard this morning? How many break-ins there have been in Cape Coral since November 1st? Please. Yeah. 71. That's Whoa. almost as... Wh- 71 burglaries. That is one burglary per inch of snow. Yeah. <laughs> in Maine. In Maine. <laughs> Thank you. Mike, I'm Thank on you, visitflorida.com. Yes. And this is where they would sell you on Fort Myers, right? Come ahead. I'll be uh, I'll be <laughs> heading north. There. I'm just Come getting ahead. dressed for a charity dude. The Fort just Myers a description <laughs> on the website that's supposed to just sell dressing. you Florida. Yes. It lo- reads like an obituary. Oh no. Because- <laughs> Like how so? <laughs> the Fort Myers, uh, it, the Fort Myers is popular for its beaches, fishing, and shopping. Yes, it is. When the wo- shopping is a that's a cop out on a tourism site. When the opportunity lends itself, you may be able to check out Thomas Edison and Henry Ford's Winter Estates. Yeah, it's a, uh, we've done it, and it's beautiful at Christmas time. And when you so go to the uh, Henry Ford, when you go to the Henry Ford Estate, do they go into the fact that he was a noted anti semite? I had no idea. Was he really? Yes. Yep. I didn't know that. <laughs> they can smell their own, Rob. <laughs> <laughs> Why would Rob know that? Because he knows. Rob, he he knows. knows. Listen, <laughs> to defeat <laughs> hatred, you must understand he's, hatred. I totally mm. understand. He's like, HBS, yeah. guess who else is in the club? You uh, know what? It's I, not I a always, club. <laughs> look, I always think of Henry Ford as kind of the secondary dude down here. The fact is, I am a huge fan of Thomas Edison because of great. all the stuff that he created. I don't think we would be who we are today without the genius I, of Thomas my, Edison. Yeah, the electric I, chair. I, I, <laughs> Jesus Christ, Pony. 
<laughs> How about the electric light bulb? Okay. Did you All know right, that uh, the Fatty chair. Arbuckle would never had to go to the electric chair because it was found innocent? Did he really invent the electric chair? Yeah, he did because he wanted to uh, prove that alternating current was dangerous. So he created the electric chair to show that he alternating did. current would kill people. He does have the patent on the yeah, electric it's chair. Pretty bad. You know, <laughs> here I am talking about the lovely winter estates of Henry Ford and Thomas Edison, and I get electric chair and anti Semite. Well, My <laughs> God Almighty. Great radio show. <laughs> wow. Well, well, Mike, the reason why I bring that up is that if you look at say a city like Miami or even Orlando, they have three pages worth of this is what you can do here. Right. And th- I, I really think that if you're going to- Not a lot down here. There's not a lot going on yeah, down here. Yeah, but they should sell Fort Myers more than they actually are on visitflorida.com. We have gorgeous beaches. Yeah, we have some of the most beautiful beaches in America right here in Fort the Myers. The third That's item it. on the Fort Myers list is shopping. It's like, right. oh, you want to go to the beach? You want to go to Dillard's? Let's go to Dillard's. <laughs> but it's, it's not also, very good. In the spring, it's also a spring training destination That's for true. a big, number big, of different big ball reasons. clubs. Mm. Let, me, a, let me name yes. some beaches real quick, and you give me a right. ding or a buzz, all right? All right, very good. Lover's okay. Key State Park. Oh, what's that That'd in be the number sand? One. That'd be number one. That's a condom. <laughs> Bowman's Beach. No, no, hold on a second. Now, hold <laughs> on a second. Excuse me. Sorry. That is pristine, <laughs> as beautiful a beach area as you will see anywhere Blue water, you know, when it's not polluted. Sure. <laughs> they had a they had a deal where they released water when we got the heavy rains out of Lake Okeechobee, and they had a pollution issue down yeah. here. One of the biggest stories of the year in Fort Myers was the release of these waters, and it took away it, the river, the, the Caloosahatchee River, spilled out into the Gulf of Mexico, causing the water to be very, very uh, concerned, uh, a concern for the citizenry. Go ahead. <laughs> Why am I defending my area? Today? Bowman's ahead, Beach. Man. I'm not familiar with it. Okay. Uh, Lynn Hall Memorial Park. Not familiar Named with it. Named after Lynn Hall, right? Bonita <laughs> Beach Park. Bonita Beach Park, very nice. Give not far from thing. you. Not far at all from me. Bowditch Point Beach. <laughs> Beautiful. Beautiful. All right. Place. Hey, are you headed down to Bowditch? <laughs> <laughs> it looks like it's going to be about 82 today, so I'm going down to Boat Ditch. Right, right. Uh, you and know, now I'm going I'm, to Dillard's. I'm sitting here being mocked. No, you're not. By a man who lives in Leesburg. Historic and, and Leesburg. Lisa, recently one named. Of the nicest towns in the Virginia. World. I saw that. That is a yak right there. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, as that far as towns is around here. If you like townhouses that are stacked on top of townhouses and lines to go everywhere for everything at any time. Yes, check No out lines Leesburg. in proper Leesburg. And if you go to historic Leesburg and see, perhaps taking a show at the Tally Ho or a delightful meal. Yeah, the Tally meal. Ho. <laughs> yes. Yeah, exactly. I've been to the Tally Taking a delightful meal at Lightfoot. Yes, Lightfoot, the same place. Sanibel <laughs> Causeway Beach. Absolutely phenomenal. Here's the cool thing about Sanibel. Yes. You go Sanibel. over the crystal blue water <laughs> and you can take your vehicle uh, right off onto the beach, and one of the cool things to do if it starts to kick up out here is to see the. Uh, the they're not. Hang, I guess they're not hang gliders. They're kite surfers. They're kite surfers. Oh, Absolutely I know about that. incredible to watch. Yes. so much fun to watch. Really great. Barefoot Beach State Reserve. Barefoot Beach, absolute pristine beach. And have we mentioned the shelling, where you can find the most amazing shells you will ever find. Anywhere on our beaches. Oh, down. interesting. Yeah. I thought perhaps you were I talking become... about like a military show, yeah, like I've artillery. Got three more beaches, Mike. Three when more did beaches. I become like head of the tourism board down here? Well, you got to sell yourself. I think it's yeah. beautiful, Mike. Stay I see... the hell home. Don't come down. <laughs> no, no. Do a TV spot, like a like a William Shatner spot for Florida. Little Florida. little <laughs> <laughs> little Hickory Beach Park. Yeah, I, I, that's uh, right around the uh, the uh, area. Lovers Key, beautiful. Blind Pass Beach slash Turner Beach. Another, there's a dog beach over around there that's absolutely incredible. You see all the wonderful dogs running around, and uh, they, they don't have poop falling out of their butt like beluga. <laughs> Lighthouse <laughs> Park Beach. I'm not familiar with that beach, and that's it. Those are the there beaches they plug. Yeah, not so it's bad. It's beautiful. Not so no, bad. It, it's not shopping. It's it's outdoor activity, Rob. That's what it is. Hey, I'm you're just quoting a joke the website. About Dillard's. Yes, but you're. It's not just shopping. It's so you can do a lot of fun stuff down here. Can you find a conch shell? You, how about how about a wonderful back uh, you know backwater fishing trip that you can take in December? I mean that would be Ooh, incredible. 
wouldn't it? I'd like that. It's beautiful. It'd be absolutely amazing. You can go to the Naples Zoo and see one of the better local zoos that we have around here. It's absolutely terrific. You can go to uh, the Shell Factory and see all the the different shells and have a wonderful afternoon there. You can uh, go to many, many waterfront dining establishments that they have here. It's a a beautiful place to be. You took me to one once, and I had a wonderful time. It's delightful. Right on the Gulf. Fantastic. Well, why am I? uh, Can we go to break? Why am I the National Tourist Board of Florida, for (laughs) Christ's sake? There's a Legoland in Florida. Well, that's not down here. That's up where you like it. That's in in Orlando, uh, Orlando. right? Yeah, of course. They check that out. Anything like that. Yeah, that's the first thing that got him excited. (laughs) Legoland. Where did he have to stop when we went on a trip one time? Oh, yeah. The world's largest McDonald's. (laughs) We had to go like half an hour out of our way so we could do that. We'll take a break. And we'll come back with more fun and more thrills. This is the Mike O'Malley Show. Hey, it's Tony Perkins. Hi, it's not Tony Perkins. It's Gary Stein. Of the Tony Perkins Show. We are doing some fantastic stuff. When you're done listening to this show, join us on our show. Right. Not that that show isn't fantastic, but we're better. That show's fantastic, too. But we're better. (laughs) Just check us out, TonyPerkinsShow.com. Whenever you get to it. What the hell are they doing? What are they talking about? They talk about our show? Is that what he's referring to? Any shows. Well, this isn't running on any other show. That's the commercial that runs on our show. It also runs on Americast. Oh, it runs on Americast. Thank you. Uh, welcome back to the Mike O'Mara Show. You know about Lyft, right? L-Y-F-T? It's Lyft. It's the uh, app that gets you a ride in minutes on demand 24-7 for less than the cost of a cab. Download the app, request a driver, and they show up on average three and a half minutes later. That is super fast. It's really the technology that's revolutionized the way people get around in cities. Every Lyft driver is carefully vetted through their 10-point safety standard, which includes DMV and criminal background checks, so you know you're safe. Plus, Lyft drivers are rated after every ride. Only the the best ones stick around so no filthy cars driven by creepy dudes and lyft lets you tip within the app that makes for happier drivers nine out of ten lyft rides get a perfect five-star rating from the passenger it's just a better all-round experience lyft isn't the biggest ride sharing app but it's the highest rated and it's the fastest growing one and the quality is uh, emphasized over quantity we love lyft great i loved it all over dc it's fantastic uh use it during the holidays when you go on all your holiday parties you'll love it right now lyft has an amazing offer just for our listeners three free rides that's up to a 30 dollar value when you enter the promo code tmos just download the free lift app today and use the tmos code in the payment section boom bam three free rides up to 10 bucks each up to a 30 dollar value just remember our promo code tmos and do bam it today a lamb. ladies and gentlemen new update? bam lamb bam lamb bam lamb look at our new screensaver mike it's lego I land Lego Land, Mike. If you look it up, maybe we can meet there over the holidays. <laughs> it's can, Orlando, right? We can be a foals, adult fans of Lego. And Are you we going back down it. to Orlando for the holidays? I'm going, going for ten days, Mike. You're going to be in Florida for, for ten, ten days? days, but you're well, not going to be... be there because you'll be snowed in. No, we're missing everybody. We're actually going north when everybody's coming south. So mm. that's the way we're oh, doing. Also, you can't come up. Can't come up. You're going to be up there during the holidays, right? That's, yeah, uh, yeah. When you're going to be down there. No, no. We're uh, we're going to be going north. Uh, the road less traveled, just to have kind of a traditional New Englandly up in the woods uh, Christmas. That's what we're doing. I don't know why this is so difficult. For I love to when understand. you describe it, and in about two sentences, it becomes an Ann Murray special. Well, it's no, it's very pretty up you're there. You're basically going to the Anirondacks when you shouldn't be going there. When people tell you not to climb Mount Everest, you're like, we're going to go there anyway. <laughs> but you have to understand that I. this is something, this was one of the reasons we wanted to uh, acquire a piece of land you don't up even there was own that we winter could close. I we have plenty of winter clothes up there. They're all up there from when we had them in Virginia. So you We're, say. The house is a, What do you mean so I say? Why because we've seen photographs of your neighbors breaking in and wearing your clothes. <laughs> no, it's fine. It's gonna be, uh, I'm Mike O'Mara. I, I'm a disc jockey. Woo! <laughs> they're just they're, they get squirrely up there. They get 72 inches of snow every December. They don't. They don't. That can't be right. That can't be right. It can't possibly be right. I'll ask Zach. I'll ask my buddy Zach up there. Who's Zach? To, uh, the, lobsterman. The, the lobster The lobsterman. Guy? My, okay. buddy, yeah, yeah, my yeah. buddy, the lobsterman, who's been uh, phenomenal up there, and he's uh, he's a good guy. I look like, forward to hanging with they him. They don't man. film Deadliest Catch during that uh, month because they know it's too dangerous. Mm. <laughs> they don't film Deadliest Catch off the coast of Maine anyway. They're lobstermen. Come on. Deadliest catch filmed inland. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's right along the coast, but they don't. There's not. It's more temperate at the coastline. It always is. I am hoping we get a little snow. I'm praying for it. I want to get some snow when I'm up there. I really Wasn't do. Wasn't the I hunt have a white for Christmas. Red October filmed in Bar Harbor? 
Um, I'm not sure whether it was. I know that they talk about uh, in the book going into uh, the harbor up there. I yeah, think when they, they when they pop up. up and it's like yeah, when oh, they pop up like in Booth Bay Harbor. Look or something at that. Like that. I know that the yeah. one ship that lives up there is the SS Vindam. The Vindam. We have seen the Vindam. Wasn't that when I called you from the water? When yes. We saw it? Yeah, I, heard, I actually saw the I picked the up the Dumb. phone and I, I heard called like, Rob. Like, I, could, I almost wrecked the boat. I was going so fast and I was driving up this thing so fast with a little boat. And I'm like, oh my God, I got to call Rob. It's Gordon Liddy's boat. The Vindam. Gordon Liddy used to have a cruise for his listeners. Please join me aboard the Vindam. There'll be like exclusive when, lectures. And it's when, and when Gordon Liddy was at the height of his popularity. Yes. And so Gordon Liddy, the only thing that we ever got out of the Vindam was the hysterical commercials for it. Yes. And then he comes back on one of his cruises where, where you know he had his ass kissed the whole time sure. he was there. And there's a picture of him. He had to be, what, in, in mid, mid-60s at oh, this at point? Oh, at least pushing 70. And, and he has this shot of him shirtless with a Speedo bathing suit what? that looked like, seriously, <laughs> it looked like he had a 17-inch thing. That's the way it, 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 and we put, didn't we put that up in our studio? Lots of times. Yeah, up? we put it everywhere. And uh, <laughs> then when we finally saw the Vindam, it looked like a coal cruiser from the 1960s. <laughs> it was... <laughs> Really Let's looks like say, I, there, I don't know why it was floating. Honestly, there may be sh- uh, ships that are in a better state of repair. Do you remember the, the, uh, the, the desert craft that the jaw was used to capture R two D two in Star yes, Wars? Yes, it looked right. like that, but it was in the water. You know, people. <laughs> I think people think of cruise ships uh, automatically as being bright and new and white shiny. and shiny, like the love boat. That's what you think of. You think and of the love boat. When you see them come into a port, uh, like they do up in Maine, you see them come into this port, and some of them look. Uh, especially the ones, the smaller ones that they bring right into the dock. Oh, my God. I found bear. the Speedo picture. It's online. Oh, of there it is. is. There Whoa. it is. Yeah. <laughs> there it is. I mean, folks. it was like high-cut Speedo. Yeah, and Join you didn't, me. You didn't mention yeah. that it was an American flag Speedo. Yeah. I yeah. will be on the Vindom, and I will be joining you. Uh, it should be a lot of fun. Join Look, me. I, I am planning the trip. It is all right. The only thing I seriously have to say to both you gentlemen is that uh, that is a concern for me. The vehicle that I'm uh, that I'm renting. Get I would say if it's right. sped if it's spread over three weeks and you can upgrade for that much money, do it. <sighs> think of okay. the safety of uh, think of your peace of mind. Think Rob, of the falls, it, it, it falls into that category of that's how they get you, though. It really well, is. Well, you know what, stunning, though? But you know? you know how else they get you when you're yeah. stuck in a snowdrift. <laughs> yes. I know. Drinking your own urine. But I'm not doing any. I'm not going anywhere, uh, you know, unless I know the weather forecast is okay. But, yeah, but you mentioned not groceries like and stuff. You got a, You storm. got a young child, and you know nothing's right. open up there near you. You got to. By the way, is it safe for me to ship some of my equipment up there? Is no, it, as opposed to no. No, what I know you what say? you want to do. Why do you say you that? You want to break everything. Yeah, you just want me. Own. You know what you want me to be a Sherpa going through the airport. That's what you want me to be. You wanted me to have like 500 pieces of equipment extra when my family's got to bring their diaper bags. I don't think you have that much say. equipment to no, bring. No, you do don't you? have anything. You you just have to bring that box that's in front of you that hooks up to the internet. I know. Can we let's why don't we have an intern drive down here? <laughs> it's well, one you know box. what? You know what? Mac has a crossover vehicle. If you could put up with Mac Hi, it's me. Right. I can it's, drive you to the grocery store. Let me I'll drop off right these now. packages on the uh, way. Uh, <laughs> oh, that's right. I forgot he's got a job now. He's got an Amazon job. Well, we're a little overdue in downsizing the uh the some of the mechanisms that I use here in the uh, Mike O'Meara Oh studio. Yeah. yeah. We're just a little uh Yeah, uh, you don't have to I'm take those up. No. Wow, don't worry about that. Yeah, I do take those up. I do take those up. Yeah, but you're going to be there for 10 days. Be there for three weeks. You still don't use them as it is. You use them once every three weeks. (laughs) That's what I'm saying. Don't take them up there. Were you giving an example of using it or telling Oscar that he's right? All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep my I'm gonna keep my hands down. Uh, yeah, you keep your hands down. Yeah, and to yourself, Mister. Yeah. All right, so I knew that to, though. You're not going to see me. <laughs> Pull do it on this. your pants. Hold on just a I'm second, sorry. and I Crumple want you to up. tell me if this is coming. That, gro- that is gross. Well, it's, it's something that you have no, said yeah, multiple but not times. Not to Mike. That is gross. Yeah. Well, you, sometimes you got to go for the. Gym. Hey, uh, quickly, Mike. Did that, that come from my replay or from my computer? That came from Beluga organ failure. <laughs> <laughs> that came from your computer. <laughs> What about this one? Computer. Computer. What about this one? No, you put it together, Rob, so you're cheating. No, not really. I don't even <laughs> recognize that, but That's I'm going to guess computer. computer. <laughs> hold on just, hold on just a second. All right. Let's see. All right. Okay. Hold this on, is a good game. This is great I for I am a gay screen. American. That is from the instant replay. It is an IR. 
That I are too. Incorrect. That oh. came out of the computer. Oh. Ah! I just wanted to get you. I just wanted to get you that way. Uh-huh. What's the story with a dying dog? Yeah. Uh, Beluga has poop falling out of his butt like in the house. There was a chunk of poop on the floor Unexpected today that I just noticed. Uh, they uh, and, and, and it just came from like nowhere. And, and he, he, he's Is he normally one for straining? It's still they're doing t- the, two things are happening with him. <laughs> he is constantly now padding around the house like he doesn't like he's agitated. And I don't know why he's doing that, but uh, that's happening. And he also is, you know, the, the, the poop falling, just falling out. I mean, there was this the, this little piece that came out of nowhere and it was like right in the middle of the floor for when the kids were here. Last Not night, only that, so. he uh, he lost the bank deposit and he had a string tied around his finger. He's like Uncle Billy. He is like Uncle Billy. <laughs> He is. And like, he doesn't uh, have a finger. He has a paw, Pony. Well, Come on. Uh, I, I might <laughs> adhere to what Oscar said before the show, and that's a, that it's organ failure. I'm not it, it sure. It says but, yeah. uh, dogs dropping poop randomly. That comes up on Google. Incontinence <laughs> from expert says these are the uh, initial signs of digestive problems which could lead to some sort of organ failure i knew i was right because we had this wow problem with, so you were right mm, about we had it. this problem with my black lab and oh. shortly after there was a turn for the worse yep. oh, that's I, I don't even like i'm to, sorry I don't, carla i don't even like to think about that um <laughs> uh, <laughs> anyway yes. it's you know what let me uh i'm not normally one to be the guy that looks on the sunny side of the street sure. but i will tell you this it's been a good run that's a great dog that's had a happy life, and you've given that dog so much. That it, was Rob again, Carla. That it would was be Rob. a shame. That was Rob. To make the dog live on if the dog was in discomfort. I understand. How far okay. along is, uh, is uh, Beluga in his life expectancy? Uh, he will. The average life expectancy for a pug is, I believe, twelve to 15 years yes and beluga is uh, is 12 thank you very much 12 well thank mm. you my niece i had a great time last night too that's that's sweet. my niece that just texted me isn't oh, that that's sweet? sweet that's wonderful text back uh, and see if she has an opinion what to do about the dog well uh, you know i'm gonna have an opinion what to do about my marriage if we keep talking about my dog dying that's the way it's gonna go we gotta take a break we're hoping thank for you. the best yeah. always god bless Fingers both of you crossed. thank you appreciate that science doesn't lie you know, you yeah. know what beluga, beluga will bounce back when he sees 72 inches of snow <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Guy and dog, <laughs> blizzard. Yeah, life's good. We'll take a break. Come back with more fun on the Mike O'Mara Show. The TMOS Elite Whiskey Society presents questions for a whiskey drinker. Here's a letter from Will in New Hampshire. <laughs> Will writes, <laughs> why whiskey? <laughs> well, Will, because whiskey puts hair on your chest, not on your palms. Check out the TMOS Elite Whiskey Society on Facebook or in bars. Or Hope I can make the party. <laughs> Welcome back to the Mike O'Mara Show. Brought to you by Vistaprint. I got my holiday card at Vistaprint. You can, too. And they've got a great deal right now. 60% off for your holiday cards. You're not going to find a better deal for a customized card that is all you. And a card that you can completely so you don't even have to take a pen out you can send it out there it's personalized you can put your personal photos into it you can get a template that they have or you can get a a complete card design that they have or you can design your own all quantities styles and stocks are 60 percent off only good through december 6th so you want to act now and by the way you should because this is the time to get your holiday cards out even before thanksgiving that's when you want to start thinking about it. you know why if you mail them out early you get more back Absolutely. And uh, you can do it. I did it myself. It was fun. It was easy. Lots of options. Vistaprint is more than holiday cards. They've got personalized calendars, mugs, canvas prints, and so much more. Your satisfaction is absolutely guaranteed. This is probably the fifth year that I've done my holiday cards with Vistaprint, and they're always perfect, and I love sending them out, and they're all personalized. You will love it. Get 60% off. Just visit Vistaprint.com. Create your custom holiday card. Enter the code TMOS60. That's TMOS60. 60% 60% off, and uh, you're going to love it. Your savings are applied automatically. It's that easy. This offer is only good through December 6th. So go to Vistaprint.com. Remember TMOS 60 and get your holiday shopping done today, ladies and gentlemen. News. News. Oh, wow. It's getting close to the holiday. Listen it to sure him. is. Oh, yeah. Listen to him. Love Jesus this thing. Christ. I know you do. <laughs> anyway, uh, it looks like Dave Chappelle is ready to jump back into his career after hosting Saturday Night Live this month. He's putting three stand-up specials on Netflix in 2017. By the way, my little pan of Dave Chappelle and 
I believe I was an army of one. Yes. Yeah. Love yes. that performance. Yes. And everybody is telling me last night I, with my uh, niece and nephew here, same thing. You know, it was, it was too great. close, Mike. Too close to the heart. Too close to the life. I used so that. Could have I used that, Oscar. Yes. I said I was too white hot about it. Yes. Uh, one of them uh, that uh, Chappelle's doing is a new special being produced exclusively for Netflix. The other two are previously unreleased shows that are, quote, directly from Chappelle's personal comedy vault. And get this. He is making. Are you ready for this? Mm-hmm. Sixty million dollars for this. Woo! Wow, so he's essentially getting $20 million for each unreleased performance, and so no extra work. He's getting back all that money that he lost when he went to America. Yeah, mm-hmm. when he took his hiatus. That is awesome. I love the fact that he's doing this for two reasons, but mo- mostly is when he came on Saturday Night Live and no one had seen him work in some time, he was so effortless and he hadn't oh, lost he a so step. Calm. And he it was, was so calm. And I, when I watched him, I thought, was God, he, we need him back. And he said, it's kind of... Oh, this isn't easy. It's kind of a comeback. I don't want. I don't know what you want to call it. But I sat there. I was like, "Who could be so honest when you're Dave Chappelle like that?" Right? Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. And uh, you know, and really, you can't argue with that show. I mean, he is one of the most brilliant comedians yeah. ever. And uh, you know, he gets paid because everybody's going to be watching that special. Is going to kill. That's why they're paying yeah. him the big bucks. For Mike, it. I just sent you what your solution is for a little beluga before the double X on the eyes, as Rob would put it, comes around. Oh, now you see why I would never say that. Yes. Let me look at this. Hold is it on. a cork? No, he'll just have to put us on at night before he goes to bed, and then there won't be any issues. Oh, yes. okay. Yes. Thank you for sending me the petdiaper.com. I, I truly appreciate that. Much appreciated. I'll be all set to go. One for Michael, one for Beluga. <laughs> there we go. Michael's almost out of here. Uh, we'll talk about that tomorrow. Oh. He's, uh, we may be at the finish line. It's, un- uh, it's a curious overlap, isn't it? Yeah, it's under root time. And then it'll be my turn. Uh, <laughs> You could be porn's next president. Adult website X Hamster has launched a casting call for an on-screen Donald Trump to serve for the next four years. Oh, that's oh. Nice, <laughs> Mike. We know a guy. <laughs> Candidates should submit a non-sexual video dressed in character, preferably with Trump's <laughs> signature hairstyle. Of course. At uh, which point, an online democratic process will determine the winner by popular. Ex Hamster noted in a statement recently, the victor will be announced the day before President elect Trump's first State of the Union address. Hi, this is the internet, Steve Mermelstein. <laughs> aside from a non sexual tape, Steve. Uh, aside from video stardom, the winner will receive the Twitter handle Real XH Donald Trump. And- to be his handle. Once the president is cast, similar elections will be held to appoint his cabinet officials, uh, Supreme Court nominees, wives and family wives, plural, and family That's going to be a good movie. Ex hamster. going to be a yes, Ivanka. Yeah. That'll be fun. Yeah. I'd be able to actually get her. Yeah. This is an interesting fact. ABC's broadcast American Music Awards on Sunday drew 8.2 million total viewers and a 2.4 demo rating that is down uh, 25 to 31 percent from last year to mark an all-time low for the VMAs. Ooh. Gigi Hadid getting panned. Never seen anyone get panned online uh, for her hosting job. Uh, you know they love to bring you up. The bottom line for these starlets, you know, when you're getting all that money just to show up at galas and you know walk the red carpet, how's the lung, Rob? It's how's fine. That doing? It's fine. Okay. It's <laughs> not fine. You, know, you might want to. Do- I turned my microphone off. I, I heard it. Let- no, we all well, heard. I, we all I, heard. We, it. we all heard it. Yes. How will we all hear, hear it if you turned your microphone off? Maybe I should have turned more microphones off. <laughs> <All right. laughs> you didn't turn your microphone off. No, I did. He muted himself, but he doesn't mute everyone that's in the room if he's about to cough. Right. Normally uh, it doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, let me see. Hold on. Oh, better. Okay, see, it was off. Yeah. Oh, wait a Thank second. You. It was off. <laughs> <laughs> it was off, and I still heard it. Now I now I get it. Uh, ABC <laughs> notes that the AMA has delivered its best non-Emmys Sunday numbers since the Billboard Music Awards in May. That's jargon and spinning, and I don't know what that means. But uh, Who, she got panned a little bit. We, I think we've really br- um, talked about these award shows to a certain extent where the access and the lure of seeing these stars on stage and on TV is so commonplace now because of the likes of TMZ and Perez Hilton. Yes. That right. when you see them, you're like, I'd rather see them doing something normal like walking out of a Harris Teeter. And also the yeah, AMAs exactly. need to go the way of the Grammys and not focus on the award. Focus on the performance. But when the Grammys have, revamped, they they really they really sort of reinvented themselves. But why would you have uh, you know, this music show and you don't hire a comedian, you don't have a music 
makeup artist. You don't have a television artist. You, you just can't bring a supermodel up there. She hasn't done anything. She doesn't have any talent. So, the whole I mean, thing I is going to crap since Dick, Dick Clark died. I they know, need someone to overlook it. Right. Yeah. For over a year now, Google Maps and Search uh, have been telling people when stores, bars, and restaurants are likely to be busy. Now it's going one step further from today. Searching for a business via Google will not only show you when it's typically crowded, but also an estimation of how busy it is at the moment you're searching for it. So if you see that a particular store is very full, you can plan to head somewhere else. It's hoped that uh, this feature will help users avoid the worst of the crowds over Thanksgiving's long weekend and beyond. There are a couple of coming out today. Place listings in search and maps will now tell you how long the typical stay is at a location. So if uh, your people usually spend two hours at a restaurant, you can plan the rest of your day accordingly. Finally, maps will now list more complex opening hours. You'll know what time to pop in by the uh, pharmacy at your local drug or, or supermarket when food delivery begins at a nearby restaurant and what the service hours are at the auto dealership. So all is that it, uh, will it, be included in Google Maps. Is the search. information done by like ways, by like people telling you it's busy or how do they source the information? No, by, it, they, they use the snow chart for New England. Oh, so there'll be 72 <laughs> inches of waiting. Is your car yet anywhere? Well, you guys have driveways. Well, but in the city, when you park your car, uh, Google will now automatically tell me how far my car is away from I the house. I have had that oh, happen with neat. my with Pretty my wild. iPhone. Yeah, that's yeah. cool. It's wild stuff. We got the cupcakes. We do. We got the Woo. cupcakes. We'll eat them in a minute. Uh, Chipotle's chorizo burrito is diet food. Description on the menu available since October. You certainly wouldn't think so. It packs chicken, pork sausage, rice, beans, and cheese into a tortilla, except that same sign also said 300 calories. And so three customers who bought the burrito in Los Angeles this month are suing. As City News Service reports, one of the men behind the proposed class action suit in Los Angeles uh, ordered the menu item on November 3rd, thinking it was a 300-calorie dish. David Desmond said he felt excessively full and realized that the burrito could not possibly have yeah. been 300 calories after eating it. That's what he says in the complaint. The suit would cover all people who bought the food at Chipotle for four years <laughs> leading up to the filing oh, of the complaint. Boy. Bottom line with this is they're saying... They advertise it as a diet burrito, and it couldn't be that you add up the, you know, the chorizo alone would be uh, over 300 calories. And uh, CNBC reports Chipotle didn't respond to its request for comment, but Chipotle did reply to some customers who tweeted their dis disbelief about the calorie count. I'm sorry for the confusion, but we'll make things more clear next time. The 300 calories is for just the chorizo. Oh, the meat alone. Oh, okay. That's wow. how that goes Does down. Does salmonella so. have any calories? Uh, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> sure. They're making a comeback. Just a joke. Hey, uh, and now a little something, something. Treasure Island, Florida. Dateline. Is that the real name of the city? Treasure Island. Wow. There it is. There they are, the worthless over icing cupcakes. All right, don't start yet. We're doing we're doing that Mike, next. We're setting boys. it up for next. You can continue yes. reading the news. Uh, unable to locate the restroom at a Seven Eleven, a Florida man opted instead to relieve himself in the store's walk-in cooler, <laughs> where a stack of bush beer was defiled tipsy suspect. Police charge uh, that the man's name, Daniel Cologne, uh, the 46-year-old, <laughs> entered the Treasure Island convenience store at around 7.30 Saturday looking for a bathroom. Uh, when that search failed, Cologne opened a door marked employees only. Uh, that's according to the criminal complaint. He walked into the back and he peed the bush beer stack, uh, uh, the cases that they had, urinating over six cases of bush light, uh, causing the store a loss of nearly $12. No, I'm sorry, $100. Uh, Cologne was subsequently arrested after his vehicle was pulled over by cops uh, searching for the suspect. In addition to criminal mischief and burglary charges from the uh, nation, he was also charged with drunk driving after being read his rights. He reportedly told police he could not find the bathroom. So he entered the walk-in cooler <laughs> instead. Uh, Cologne is a Tampa resident, not ah, from Treasure Island. Tampa. He's locked up in lieu of a uh, $3,000 bond. Uh, and now it brings me to before Thanksgiving, Florida. Please. Slogan of the day. This is a new slogan, Woo! a new motto. Florida, when you got to go, you got to go. Thank you. All right, there we go. All right. I appreciate it. We'll come back. Have the audio vault and a little cupcake eating right here on the Mike O'Mara Show. I love this Prince. Yeah. Oh, more stay in the time. Yeah. Produced by Prince, I think, though. Right.
Hey everyone, Intern Dotson here. You know, the one whose microphone is never turned on. You know what tomorrow is? It's Wide Open Wednesday. Starting at 9 a.m., The Michael Mara Show takes your phone call. Want to be a small part of TMOS? Do you have a great story for the boys? Make sure to dial 888-920-MORE for your chance to talk to Mike, Rob, Oscar, and even Pony. Wide Open Wednesday, starting at 9 a.m. That's 888-920-6673. And make it count. Hey, I want to thank, uh, let me go to Facebook right now because uh, we're talking about Lost My Name and I yes. want to give this guy credit because he sent me a message last night and I was very, very grateful. Did you for lose that. his name? <laughs> I get Joe. Get it? That's funny. Clever uh, wordplay, Oscar. Well done. Thank no, you. we have a new uh, client uh, that's uh, kids books and it's Lost My Name and it's really, really, really gratifying when I get a uh, direct response the same day. Uh, here's a guy, Rick Schaefer, I want to thank you. He said, ordered up uh, the Lost My Name book as a Christmas present for my son percent using the tmos discount at checkout thanks lost my name this is a, a kid's book that uh, i got from my son and it's wonderful lost my name is the name of the company it's so cool it's easy you create a personalized book for uh, your son your daughter your granddaughter a neighbor's kid each child's adventure is based on the letters all of the letters in cool. their name. This is not personalizing a book by just popping a name in. This is taking all the letters of their names, and then because of those letters, they create the kid's story, and the kids will love this. They follow the letters of their name throughout the book. They discover that the story is all about them. You know, it's never too early to uh, teach any American that it's all about them. Well, I think that's important. Yeah. Uh, truly a magical gift uh, and keepsake that is perfect for baby showers, birthdays, and a wonderful Christmas It encourages gift. them to read. It teaches them Absolutely. how to spell their name, yeah. yeah. It's the best thing I do for my kid. My kid is so verbal, and uh, his vocabulary is so extensive, and it's because I read to him every single day. I have read to him every single day since he was old enough to know what a book is. It's great. Uh, just go to lostmy.name, enter your little one's name for a free preview of the story. Once again, listen up. It's an unusual address, lostmy.name. Name. Enter the code TMOS at checkout for 10% off. Plus, shipping is free worldwide. You'll love this. This is going to awesome. be such a great gift. You'll be a hero if you send somebody Christmas time. Order now in time for Christmas. An amazing gift. Visit lostmy.name and do it today. You will love it. All right. They say it's time for the audio vault, but before we do that, let's open up the vault. And ah, now let's open up the, uh, the, the, we've got the cupcakes standing by. What do we have here? All right. All right, uh, Diego, what would you order for us? So a half dozen for 20 bucks. They're yes. expensive. Jeez. I got the Lemon Blossom, the Black Forest, the Maple Chocolate Chip, the Thanksgiving Chocolate, the Pumpkin Cheesecake, and the Thank Lava you, Fudge. That's good. Pony, which one are you uh, holding? The Is that a chocolate chip one? He's got a chocolate chip That's one. That's the maple one. Oh, it's got the little maple leaf on it. Mm -hmm. Okay, I should have oh, known that. Nice. That's delicious. That Mine All is right, the well, uh, anal fissure. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, uh, Oscar has uh, has plunged in. Mm -hmm. Very difficult to eat, but uh, I'm sorry. Maybe so. Is the whole point of this exercise to really just uh, tell me that I'm wrong about cupcakes? Well, well I'll be honest with you. It was yeah. to get rid of me for the entire show. No, I, when you got there, <laughs> what, what, where were you in line? I was the eighth person in line when I got there. Before about, it uh, opened. Before it opened, Whoa. around nine fifty-five. Yeah. Whoa, this cupcake is a misstep. Why is that? What kind are you eating? What are you eating? It is a chocolate cupcake with a ganache filling, but it is a cream cheese icing. Yeah. But I don't like cream cheese on chocolate. They blew oh, it. So you get a... Uh, uh, at Diego, were there urgent people in the cupcakery? Were they, uh, were they very, very like uh, nervous and uh, everybody kind of pushy-shovey, or was it a nope. pleasant atmosphere? They were ready. They, it was a very pleasant. They had the throwbacks playing on the radio. Um, it <laughs> Why was just... wouldn't it be pleasant? They're charging $4 for a 20-cent product. Of course well, they're going to be happy. He's talking... Uh, people working there were the customers also pleasant they were i saw some families i saw some businessmen um, <laughs> but the people working there are awesome I love diego's assessment i saw some families i saw some <laughs> businessmen oh that's wonderful Talk rob around. didn't like his cupcake so much he ate it all that's right <laughs> i'm not gonna waste that good oh god pony you haven't uh you haven't really delved into yours are no, you not it, a fan no it's good the the cake part of it is great but it's really it's just an excuse to eat frosting yep that's what so i've always it's said too much for you too much frosting yeah i agree the frosting ratio was off that's right. oscar uh what uh what cut cake did but you the enjoy? cake murdered okay. mine simply because for the you're, for the show i wanted to give you the full experience right exactly. thank you for that's sacrificing yourself uh this cupcake what has, flavor was it? It was the maple leaf, mm. um, the pumpkin. Maple chocolate. Whatever. <laughs> the pumpkin yeah. Canadian uh, free health care. <laughs> oh, 
way, was... we're sending this tape to the Food Network. We're going to get our own show. I loved it. Okay. You I loved, loved it. it. But no, I couldn't have one more. This is just way too much. Diego, did you enjoy one? I did. Actually, I don't like cake. I'm not a fan of cake. I had a really bad experience when I was younger. What about after you spark up? After you spark up to eat cake? It's still, it's way too sweet for me. I, I don't see. like things that are way too sweet. What, uh, what cupcake? I think I got the Black Forest, but I have no idea what why they call it that. I don't know what makes it. Well, Black does Forest. it have does it have a cherry and a chocolate element to it? Um, because then it's like Schwartz Voltaire's to rob it as oh. expertise here. <laughs> does it have a cherry element? No, it does not. I may, well, I may have gotten the lava fudge then. Yes. Lava fudge. Mm. <laughs> Diego, it was too sweet again. I don't like. I'm not a fan of cake. Okay, yeah, he's not a cake you. guy. This- 50-50. Mike, it's 50-50. It's 50 50. Yeah. Yes. Some liked, some did not like. Yeah. This and some segment did not like and still ate it. Is, uh, <laughs> is good. Where's the chocolate chip one? Did nobody eat the chocolate chip? Pony That's had the that one, one I would have had. Get it right into Rob, the mail. Why don't, why, don't you get, why, don't you get, uh, why don't you get a maple chocolate chip? Why don't you take the maple chocolate chip <laughs> and shove it up your ass? <laughs> I can't do anymore. I can't why do don't anymore. we anally insert the cupcake <laughs> ah, okay, and see we if that adjusts his mood? Start the audio <laughs> vault. Yes, right. It's open. Right. It's open. Send, send it's it my open. way. I'll turn your audio vault. And Mike, you can relate. I don't like to eat to be eat. It's just like, what? I'm not going to eat this car where nobody can see I don't want to be an example made of me. Right, exactly. Like you don't like to be watched when you're practicing your English. You've it's always a, hated it, and you've done it. You've done it for the good of the show over the years. Like I remember the Krispy Kremes. You didn't really like that because no. it was fun for us, but not fun <laughs> because you enjoy the food. I want to enjoy the food, right? Speaking of enjoyment, you know who I enjoy? Who's that? Billy Eichner, the guy who Who's... does Billy on the Street. That oh, sort Billy of uh, right. highly man energetic street, yeah. uh, man on the street guy. This is sort of a warped angle he did. This was trending yesterday. He went around telling people that Seth Rogen was dead, but Seth Rogen was the guy videotaping the people. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny so you right get there. you get sort of a great reaction here that goes in a direction you don't expect. So remember, he tells a woman Seth Rogen is dead when Seth Rogen. 18 inches away from her. Miss, right. Seth Rogen passed away today. Any thoughts? Seth Rogen passed away? Yeah. Any? Were you a fan? Yeah. You serious? Yes. Yeah, totally. Oh, my gosh. When? Uh, this morning. I'm not sure the reason and why. Oh, my gosh. My chest is hurting. <laughs> what will you remember most about him? <laughs> he was funny. Yeah. Well, I have good news. Though. Yes. What happened? He's right here. He's alive. It's Seth Rogen. <laughs> he made me do this. Oh, but it's so funny. And also, I want you to pay attention to the second lady because she sounds a lot like your personal assistant, Mike. <laughs> oh, my God. Isn't that great news? Thank you for your words. <laughs> I love you. Thank yes, you. I love you. so funny. I cannot wait to go see Neighbors 2. <laughs> yeah, I, I had a small <laughs> role in it. Miss, hi. God, Here's terrifying. Jennifer. You're one of the funniest people I have ever seen. Oh, my God. Thank you. Who do you think's funnier? Be honest. Me or Seth Rogen? Oh, my God, you. Thank you. <laughs> oh, my God, a million times. Really? I don't think he's funny at all. Oh, well, well, he's right here, Seth Rogen. He's really oh funny. God. He's very funny. <laughs> yes. Oh, I'm, my I'm God. I'm not into stoner humor, so. Oh, okay. Stoner well, humor. wouldn't be into Seth Rogen, you know what I mean. <laughs> Why am I funnier than Seth? I he love just you. appealed to me. Yep. And it's not the, and again, it's not the stoner humor. Right. It's, it's a little smarter than that. Well, stoner humor. That. Excuse stoner me. Stoner humor. Hey, Jen, how you been? Hi, I love the audio vault. Do you love it? <laughs> yeah. Send me one of those cupcakes. Yeah. <laughs> Only if you cheer for it. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Diego. Hi, Jennifer. How are you? I'm all right. Good. Yeah. He's a Latin man. Did you know that? Yeah, do I know that? <laughs> I'm a Latin boy. No, I know oh, you're man. tall. Jennifer, how tall are you again? I never can remember. 6'3". She'll he, swallow me and up. And how tall are you? <laughs> I'm 5'4". And uncircumcised. That's right. My neck size is 18 and a half, and so are my calves. <laughs> yeah, gotta go. Top of the audio ball. Bye-bye. Love when she wears those boots. Just a heads up, I'm in a coma right now. Oh yeah, we've we've seen this before when we made him eat yeah. the donuts. I know. He'll check know. out. Yeah, he will check out completely. But we've got to check out soon because it's the audio ball, the last thing we do on the show. <laughs> it's time for me to play my sounds, Mike. That's uh, right, sounds. Uh, Chris Berman last night on Monday Night Football, they slipped a little Spanish into his cue card. And I don't think he was expecting it. It when was he, not. When he was uh, introducing the game, it, was it in Mexico City? Mexico City. Huge stadium down there. Uh, 23,000 fans. And he wants Incredible. To, it's a global game, Oscar. And is. he wants to say Monday Night Football, which would be Lunas Nacha to football, yeah. and it just totally stops him in his tracks. As we get set inside for Monday Night for Lunas Nacha de football. And hi, everybody. <laughs> 
and my Chris Berman. The rest of the crew would not let that go for the rest <laughs> of the broadcast. Ah, Berman. They would all work on their own Spanish. Yeah. And they're yeah. like, what's what's going on, Berman? Why can't you do that? You know, Berman is a studio guy. That's what he was born born to do. Yeah. He loves to be there doing the play by play. But uh, you know, is that was he doing play by play or he just does well, the pregame? Pre-game, now. pre-game. Yeah. And oh, the pregame. That's my, why you don't put him in the, the booth. The you know? tunnel from the locker rooms in uh, the stadium in Mexico is roughly a quarter mile, right? Yeah, there's the actually... Estadio de Mexico. There's a, <laughs> there is a quarter mile tunnel for the team, a quarter mile tunnel for the visitor team, and a longer tunnel that goes into Tijuana. That's, so, right. so, That's so, right. So they had one of their correspondents walk the tunnel to explain how far they have to walk before they even get to the field. Right. And by the time the correspondent got to the end of the at the end of the what is the runway to the field, she is out of breath and panting because you are <laughs> you are above sea level, right? Like seven thousand feet, right? Twenty thousand fans. Yeah. yeah, amazing, truly. Amazing. Let's hear that great moment once again. As we get set inside for Monday night for Lunos, Lunos. Noche de football, and hi everybody. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Bing, now, bing, bing, bing not get to it during the show and we meant to Kanye West was brought in for medical observation for his psychological health that's right he canceled his tour which is big news because Julia actually bought Robert and her tickets for the Kanye tour as a Christmas gift so they're going to miss out on seeing Kanye over the holiday probably better for them I think it's probably for the best but this still there but here's Kanye in an interview right before he was taken in for psychological observation saying that in the future we're not going to talk. I think in the future, it's funny that we're talking about this, but I don't think people are going to talk. <laughs> They're just going to literally communicate through eye contact, yeah. body language, yeah. emojis, like <laughs> do whatever we going to use words. The words, it's funny because I've like made a living off of words and right. words really get in the way of what you really want to say. What? I mean, thank God for emojis. Like <laughs> so often that it's like, can he go away? You know, just like I this sign he right can here he really just goes go a long can he, way. Can we, like, can he really go away? I don't want to hear him. I, I, I am so tired of him. I am so sick of his flapping gums and all the crap that he just put out, out another there. hit, and then we can talk. Some sick beats. Some sick beats. Yeah, put uh, out maybe some sick beats. We'll, we'll get an update tomorrow. Dive into Kanye a little bit and find out about what's uh, what's going down with him. You know, you can't argue with the selling out arenas and behaving like this because it's really bad stuff when somebody's doing that. When people are slapping down their hard-earned money and a guy shows and he's up gotta and, it back. and yeah. does three three songs, you're putting so many people uh, in you're uh, jeopardy. You're churning on your customers. Oh, and not only the people, the promoters, the backstage Everybody. people, all the people get screwed on that for his ridiculous, unbridled unchecked ego we are in the land of unchecked ego nowadays mm-hmm. it doesn't matter not as on this long show. as you're famous <laughs> certainly not we were not here each other. we were not here other. at all no, let us right. let us close with this mike have you ever been to sweden uh no i've never had the pleasure there is something there and i did a little morning it's called the flogsta scream now to read about it online uh initially you will think that it is tradition in Sweden if at night if you go to your door and scream people will scream back at you and that's sort of like a Swedish tradition this is only partially true it's a relatively recent phenomenon it does exist largely in college towns at 10 p.m. <laughs> during testing times like exam times if you go out and scream people will scream back at you this is uniquely Swedish this is in Stockholm, although it started in a neighborhood called Flogsta, so it's the Flogsta scream. Check this out. It's Tuesday in Lapis, Stockholm. It's almost 10 p.m. This is what happens when one person starts screaming at night. So he goes to his window to scream. Just once, right? Because it's traveling through yeah, the campus. traveling through the campus. I remember having to blow steam off at exam time. I would have loved this. I would just beat off. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Love those crazy Swedes. And then they all fell in love with their captors. <laughs> uh, that, hey, Stockholm Syndrome. That's your magical.
great Tuesday, everybody. <laughs> That's it. Thanks for joining us for another episode of the Mike O'Mara Show. Snail mail address. Here it is, 32101 Washington, D.C., 2007. To send a letter of birthday request for our weekly mailbag. Are we doing it tomorrow, the yes, mailbag? we got the mailbag tomorrow. Last one before Thanksgiving. We're going to do it tomorrow. It's uh, Rob with two Bs at MikeOmeraShow.com. Everybody, about our Amazon page, please, when you're doing your holiday shopping, it's really, really important as we approach Cyber Monday and uh, people are going to be doing most of their uh, shopping online this year. We'd love you to do it, too, and not forget the Mike O'Mara Show. Busy, busy, busy. Amazon.com. Everything you need doesn't cost support the Mike O'Mara show. If you need it or want it, Amazon has it. Just go to MikeO'MaraShow.com slash Amazon. Click the Amazon button on our website or use the TMOS app and click on the shopping cart. Then shop like you normally would. Thank you kindly. And uh, we appreciate you doing that. And please keep it up. For Rob Spiewak and Oscar Santana, Mike O'Mara inviting you to join us for a great time. The Mike O'Mara show. Bye-bye, everybody. Ah! Ciao, ciao. Good luck, Beluga. One last thing. <laughs> Please remember that MikeOmeraShow.com slash Amazon is the best way to shop for anything and everything. So, shop Amazon and get there through our website. Always open MikeOmeraShow.com slash Amazon. Now, go in peace. Mike O'Mara, Radio Entertainment. <laughs>